Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to take your SSD temps from this down to this using a tiny SSD heatsink. Before we do that though, I'll show you my test results. For the test, I've used Crystal Disk Mark to stress test the SSD, while monitoring the temperatures with Crystal Disk Info, updating every 2 seconds. The clip is sped up 10 times so you can just get a quick sense of the temperatures. You'll notice throughout the whole test that before the heatsink is dramatically warmer than after the heatsink, sometimes even as much as 10 to 12 degrees. As we get closer to the end of the clip, we can see both temperatures drop as the test is finished and the SSDs are cooling. Now that you've seen the reason to do this, let me show you how to disassemble your device and add the tiny heatsink. So first off, the tools we're going to need is a 000 Phillips screwdriver, a Jimmy flexible blade, guitar pick, and a plastic pry tool. Before we get started, let's do a quick overview. So we need to remove both the LT and RT trigger caps, as well as the two side covers so we can access a total of four screws. Step one is we need to remove the side covers. So the tools you're gonna need is the flexible jimmy blade, as well as a pick. And then our second step is gonna be to remove the trigger caps. So for the side covers, you're just gonna to wanna to wedge the flexible blade in there and just gently pry up. Make sure you don't damage the sides. So let's do that to both sides here. Sometimes a pick can help to pull it out, and you'll see that there's two screws under both sides. Next, we're gonna to need to lift up the trigger caps, so be gentle, make sure you don't damage them, but you just need to pull straight up, and when you look underneath, it'll expose two different screws, the same on both sides. Step three, we're gonna remove two screws on the triggers, and step four, there's gonna be four screws on the sides. So first, let's take care of the triggers. It's best to use a magnetic screwdriver so they don't fall in. Now we can move on to the screws on the side. So there's two on the left side and two on the right. So just take these out and set them aside where they won't get lost. Now we can move on to the fun part of prying the system apart. So this can be a little bit difficult. The system is actually pretty tight. So you want to take your pry tool and start in the corner near the trigger. And whenever you can get a little gap, you just want to slowly pry at it. And then you can slide along your guitar pick. Be careful though, sometimes these clips can break. I actually had one get slightly damaged on taking this apart. So just keep going. It looks like I'm just amazing here and I can do this super fast. But to save time, I actually cut out a lot of videos. So just keep going. Make sure that you don't rush this process. Once you've unclipped everything, you can go ahead and put the back cover aside. Okay, so let's move on to the SSD heatsink. So we're gonna remove the SSD by taking the screw off. Unfortunately, we can't unplug the battery and we're gonna prepare the thermal pad. So this is the heat sink and this is the thermal pad. So you can go ahead and take off one side and place it on the thermal pad. This is what it'll look like before you've done it. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and take off the SSD. To do this, we're gonna use our triple zero Phillips head screwdriver and we're just gonna unscrew the SSD. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and just pull the SSD out of the slot gently. Make sure you take it out gently so you don't damage anything. Okay, now that we've got it out, we can grab our heatsink and we're gonna take off the film on the back of the thermal pad. So once we've got that off, we can go ahead and take our SSD and we're gonna line it up and make sure that it's covering all the components. So the next thing we need to do now that we've got it on is we need to take a pair of tweezers here and we're gonna spread the bands. So you'll see that I spread it pretty wide and you wanna make sure that you're not touching the SSD. So you're not scratching it, not damaging it. I'm keeping the pressure out so that I'm not touching it. So we're gonna put one on the first side here. And once you've got it on, then we're gonna go ahead and gently remove it. And then we can move to the other side and do the same thing. And then for the center one, we're gonna put it past. And then we're gonna grab it and we're gonna slowly work it past until we get it to the center. Now that we've got it in the center, we can go ahead and reinsert our SSD. So just put it in and push straight in. And once you've done that, you can take your screwdriver and we're gonna screw down the SSD again. And that's it for the SSD installation. Now that you've finished with your SSD heatsink, you still need to put together your device. So I've included a reassembly tutorial. So you just need to line up the back cover. And then what you need to do is you need to go around and you just need to click it in. Now, just like the other one, I did clip out some video. It took a little bit of time to get some of the clips to line up. So just go around and don't force anything. Just make sure that you have it lined up the best you can so that nothing breaks. And once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and put the trigger screws in. So there's two at the top. So we're gonna put those two on both sides. 
And now we can move on to the side and of course put our four screws in. There's two on the left and two on the right. Make sure you don't over tighten it so you don't strip anything. And then all we need to do is put our little covers back in. So just line them up and they should slide right back in. For the triggers, it's pretty easy. Just line them up and then press down and then they should be good. And once that's done, now you've put your device back together. And that's going to do it for today's quick fix. If this was helpful, leave me a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more content, and of course, thank you for watching.